Where do you get all your information from anyway? It's all true. It says it right here and take a break. Oh, must be true then. I'm worried about your sperm, Sean. It's your ball crushes. You smother gate in your bollocks. Don't talk daft. I like him neat anyway. They're like two eggs in Anki. You need to set him free. I'm getting you baggies on ferry. French silk baggies. Over my dead body. My granddad didn't fight in Normandy for me to be walking round in a pair of flaming twat pants. You're bloody killing him, murderer. You'll have me in bloody git mask by end of week. I'm worried, Sean. There'll only be half a dozen left by the time we get to Leamington Spa. Have no fear. You can wrap my bollocks in a hundred lazy bands and it's still dent back of your cervix. If you don't look after him, Sean, we'll end up with gauzy kids. You've been talking about my cherry ball since we got in car. You've riddled me brief, slated me sperm count. Oh, don't take Stephen Hawkins to work out where you're coming from. I had to go away and gather my thoughts because I had some bad news a couple of months ago. It was news that made me reflect, made me realise how, how much of a thrill I've been and made me realise what's important. What I lost. But most importantly, it was news that made me realise that I've got to make things right. So, polyplectic leukemia or something, I, I, I can't pronounce it. If this is a kind of joke, Mike. Two of us then, doesn't he? Taxi! And you see all this shit. Now what, eh? Don't you want to get your hands messed up? I mean, you've got to go back to your nice little house in Gosford, haven't you? So you put on your rubber gloves and rearrange it. You take this pile of shit to over there, tidy it up a bit, sort out the dead from the nearly dead, just like fucking vultures. Take this kid into care because he doesn't go to school, get this wife another three quid on her gyro, and they just stand there gobstruck while you fuck about like a fart in a thunderstorm, writing everything down, wanting to know the ins and outs of a duck's ass. And they tell you, and then you fly back up to your nice little house in the sky, leaving all the shit behind you. Only now, it's in smaller pieces. <laughs> 